Yo, what's good? This is the syllabus tour for Muse 360 Hip Hop Music History Culture and Aesthetics, the summer version. Anyways, it's the real Dr. Dre, DJ Food Stamp, in here, in my barn, yo. Um, I just actually completed the construction of the epic record wall here, so been, you know, filling it up, you know, so doing the thing down here, so that's kind of cool. You'll actually be watching some uh, videos, uh, modules, actually, I'm not sure, maybe on um, New York Authenticity Rap and uh, Fem C's, where I'm actually in this room uh, with this wall behind me, but it's just like, I just started drywalling it, so... Um, you know, cause I, I shot these videos that most of the videos you're watching in fall of 2020. So, you know, it is now summer 2021 and we got it going in here. So I'm almost done with my build. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, this is the syllabus tour. So I suggest you download or check out the actual syllabus as you watch this. Um, I don't know why I do this. Uh, sometimes it's easier to listen or watch me babble about a syllabus than read it. And maybe I offer some insight here that you don't get um, reading. So we'll just kind of go over the syllabus um, for, you know, the summer version of, of Muse 360. All right. So uh, first off, you hit the instructor, instructor info. You got my name, all the AKAs, all right, you're already there with me. Uh, my office hours, which again, for this class, I hold on Zoom, but like, you know, Zoom is touchy for me, so you can call during this time, you can text, what, whatever. So, you know, if you can't, if the, if, I'm, if the Zoom is being problematic or you're not like finding the meeting, just call or text me. Um, obviously, you have my email and my cell phone number, so that cell phone number is there for you. Um, you can hit me up if you have questions, um, you know, concerns or anything. I prefer email, but like if you need something, need something now or wants a real easy answer, it's cool to hit me up like that, um, you know, for school related stuff. So you, you got that there. Um, and yeah, my social media, yo, I'm all up on the TikTok and the gram and all that. I actually not really up on the talk, but, you know, once it initially was banned and they're going to be banned in the u.s i was like i gotta get this shit um you know not a lot of hot fire on there from your boy um but anyways that's if you want to follow me um it's it's very luxurious and cool hopefully we'll get cooler uh and then my soundcloud link you know so you can check out some of my sleepy beats some of the beats you know just a real small portion of stuff that i've just uploaded there for whatever reason all right so how to communicate with me and why or how and why. Um, basically, how I'm gonna communicate with you is gonna be, um, I'm gonna use the Canvas announcements and that is going to shoot out an email to you. So I'll make an announcement, we'll shoot an email to you and that announcement or that email or that message or whatever will be on the um, announcements part of our Can Canvas page, which I'll do a Canvas tour here in a little bit too so you can, you can see that. Um, okay, but you know, I'll give you information on how to make sure that you're getting notifications of announcements and emails um, from me. But if you message me, whether it's you know, email through email um, or through Canvas, just make sure that in the subject header you put Muse 360 and then whatever your, your issue is, you know, you know quiz 14 or, or whatever, you know, whatever it is. Um, just because you know, I get a lot of emails and this will make it stick out, um, etc. So um, you know, if you don't hear from me, just follow up with another email. Uh, sometimes if you text me something and it's like, you know, I need to have it in hard copy, I'll ask you to email it to me too. Um, again, you see my office hours, uh, you can call, text me obviously during this time, um, whatever. So please don't call or holler at your boy late night, I'm a dad. I go to sleep early. You know, if I get text messages at midnight, my wife is going to get pissed, uh, um, you know, or whatever. And I'll probably be sleeping. If you text me that late, yo, I'm going to text you when I get up, which is at five in the morning. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll return that favor to y'all. So just, you know, kind of be, you know, cool there. Um, but yo, this is an online class, right? 
I think you know that, <laughs> like you signed up for this, like you get it, this is an online class, all right? And so what this means is, is this, like basically the, your success in this class is up to you, you know what I mean? Like I'm not here to hold your hand, I can't wake you up for school, I can't do your laundry, I can't cook your grilled cheeses, you know, I'm speaking metaphorically here, right, you, you get that, but like it, basically saying the responsibility for you to do the work is on you. I'm not here to like make that happen, you know. Um, I'm gonna certainly help you if you have questions or whatever, but like this really requires you to be responsible and diligent, okay? Um, here's the deal though, I shot most of these lecture videos in fall of 2020, so there's probably gonna be, you know, time-based jokes, stuff about the election, blah, blah, blah. Um, but the other thing is I may mention some things like exams or stuff like that that don't exist for this class, right? But they're in those videos. Yo, just ignore that shit. It don't matter. But like the curriculum stuff, like the, the, the bits and pieces, like the information, like that's all grand. That's all good. Um, you know, but just really stick to what's on the canvas, the canvas schedule, what's in each, each, you know, each module for each week, whatever, just stick to that. Don't worry about what, you know, I say about anything time related, um, in the lectures. It's, you know, it's all pretty well spelled out on, on the canvas site. Okay. Um, so that's that, uh, technical requirements. Yo, okay. No, I'm not going to read this syllabus to you cause it's ridiculous. Y'all are adults like you can read and it's it's insulting to you. So let's just skip that. But technical requirements, you need a computer and some dang internet. Um, that's kind of that. Uh, that's what you need for this class. So um, if you don't have that, you may be a little screwed. Uh, you know, a phone will definitely not cut it for you um, with the quizzes and stuff. And I'll get into that. In a, in a few minutes, but I give you some like tech supports for Canvas. Yo, I also can't help you with Canvas. Like, uh, like I can't do tech support, you know, you know what I mean? So there's resources for that for you. I, mean, I can try to help with some stuff, but if it's like glitchy techy stuff, like, you know, I can't like jump onto your computer and like tech shoot, you know, tech troubleshoot for y'all. So just make sure you have a good, uh, Wi-Fi connection and a computer. Um, course description this is really where I could like read to y'all but again y'all can read this yo this class is about hip-hop music and culture and you know where it started the social conditions that gave rise to certain moments or certain types of music uh, within the genre and within the culture so I'll, we're gonna review a lot of the social historical um, elements, you know, the shit in society um, that kind of set the conditions for different types of, of music. And we'll look a lot at like the history, specifically the early 70s to the late 90s, um, you know, and we'll kind of stop there, um, you know. So there's a lot of stuff that ba basically anything made in your lifetime, we're not going to even mess with it. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're an old, old head like me. Um, taking this class if so salute uh no but uh for real so like we end in like 98 so we're gonna look at how this like subculture this like you know black and brown youth culture that started in the south bronx of you know new york city the borough of south bronx in new york city how this like thing that teenagers made became this multi-billion dollar industry and we'll kind of go through um you know the different important moments again you know, we can't touch on everything, you know. Um, I'd love to teach y'all about Red Man for two weeks, you know, but I, I can't do that, you know. So a lot of things kind of get left out, you know. So I'm going to try to, you know, give you the bits and pieces that, you know, puzzle pieces to kind of start putting stuff together for, like, all the things that probably really matter to you. I also hope, too, like, you get experience, exposed to, um, you know, a lot of different hip-hop, a lot of different rap music, um, and a lot of different, like all the stuff we talk a lot about, like, you know, I really focus on like as a DJ and someone who makes beats, I focus a lot on the beats and less on the rapping. You know, obviously I talk about the rap and the lyrics, but you know, this has been like 50, almost 50 years, you know, I can only talk about rappers rapping about rapping 
so much. You know what I mean? When rappers rapping about rapping. Like I can only talk about that shit so much, right? I'm really interested in the beats, so the DJing, the beat making, the sampling, the technique involved in that. Um, that's just sort of you know my predisposition, I guess. Um, as, as a DJ, but, um, but we're going to look at all like the elements that kind of played into the, the music. So we'll look at the role of, uh, institutional racism and how that like gave birth to, to the music. We'll look at, you know, um, all sorts of gender dynamics. We'll look at, um, race and ethnicity in very various ways, cultural appropriation, all these like, you know, very serious, <clears throat> you know, serious things, um, and then we'll also look at like technique and skill and you know stuff 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 like that. So um yeah, I think I think you know it's a pretty decent survey of a lot a lot of stuff that maybe you're familiar with or maybe like your parents like bump, you know, and you're like, "Dad, that Tribe Called Quest sounds so old." No, it doesn't. It's Tribe Called Quest. So um yeah, so that's kind of that, you know, um but we're just going to really learn about, you know, a whole range of music. So you're going to get exposed to funk, soul, uh, jazz music, rock stuff, um, break beats, um, you know, all the elements uh, of the, the music and, and, and the culture, you know, um, all that stuff. So, 